Today on Blurning, we're going to do an effect that looks something like this. What is going on, guys? I'm Bobby. I am Brent. And you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. Okay, so we're going to be using After Effects today, and we're going to be showing you how to do what we showed you in the beginning of this video, cool. which is a glass reflection. Yeah, that looked really cool. Yeah. So how exactly are we going to do that? That seems like really complicated. Well, I will show you. Let's go to the computer. Boom! All right, so we're here in After Effects, and right now we have no compositions created. None. But Brent and I have dragged a video into the project folder over here cool. of Jesse, our dear friend. Yes. And we're going to... Fellow now you know her. Basically, first things first, uh, we're going to have to pick a object to reflect off of the uh, window here of the car. Okay. So I like to do it with uh, text. That's, that's a nice way. I think That'd it's pretty nice simple. Thing. And we will type in text. So now if we select the text and grab one of our corners here and hit the shift key on the keyboard, we can scale that up. There's a few different things we can do to make it look like the text is in the video. And mm. that's kind of the goal of this whole thing is to make it look like the text is actually part of the surroundings and uh, in the environment. One thing that we can do is we can add a drop shadow effect to make it so that the text is sort of uh, more noticeable. So we're going to get some dimension. Get it some dimension. We'll, we'll add some softness to that drop shadow, make sh and maybe some opacity. Maybe one thing we'll want to do is change the color. I, I, what color are you thinking, Brent? Maybe like a blue, like a, a, blue. Nice, a nice bright blue. All right, so we're going to go into our effects presets here and we're going to search ramp and we'll select our gradient ramp effect. And we'll drag that right onto the text here. And that creates this effect over in the corner. So you can see here, we've got our gradient ramp tool. It shows the start color and the end color here. And so like Brent said, we're gonna do a blue. So maybe we'll grab this nice blue here. Okay, yeah, I'm liking like a that. light blue. That looks good. And we're gonna grab the white and make it maybe like a, a tealy kind of color. Sure. Now, one thing you'll notice is the drop shadow that we created is now the color of our ramp here. Yeah, what's what up with that? What is going on with that? Okay, so one thing that you have to know when using After Effects is that when you're creating your effects, uh, the effects are actually layered similar to the way that it works in the timeline. Oh. So the drop shadow is above our gradient ramp, but if we drag our gradient ramp above the drop shadow, it will gotcha. no longer be affected by that effect. So. Gotcha, that makes sense. Okay, so based on the way you layer it, whatever affects at the bottom kind of affects everything below it. Exactly, that's the, that's the way that you have to think about it. Okay. It's, it's stacked and mm -hmm. uh, that's very important when you're using After Effects because it can confuse you if it doesn't look right, maybe the ordering of your effects is wrong. Gotcha. We're gonna go and maybe, you know, change where the colors start and end on the gradient. So we'll grab our gradient ramp here and you can see these two little circles. Oh, okay. Uh, they control where the color starts and where it stops. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like that. It's a visual way to do that. It's a good way to... It's, it has sliders to do it. Now, the next step is we're going to make the glass reflection. So, let's make sure we copy the text. That's the first thing we got to do. So, we'll go down to our text layer here, and we're going to hit Control D. That creates a duplicate layer. So, we have our original text and our duplicate text. Now, in a reflection, we're going to want to delete our drop shadow because this is a reflection and we want it to be as light as possible. When doing a reflection, you have to remember that things are mirrored uh, from the original object. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our top right node here and we're going to just flip ah. it upside down like that. Cool. So the next thing we're going to want to do is some screen blending. Nice. So we're going to go to our blend mode here and we're going to try screen first. That's the one I usually like to go to. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I like can, screen. I like how you can see like the clouds that are reflecting on the glass like in the text. Yeah. That really gives you that sort of re reflection effect. We want to maybe drop down the opacity a little bit. Yeah, maybe because it's a little bold. Yeah, okay. Now that's there what I'm go. talking about right there. There we go. Now that's looking real reflecty. Looking reflecty. I'm uh, liking it. I something it we good. can also do here is we can add a blur effect. So yeah, we'll do a fast blur. Yeah, because we've got some distance there. So we want 
So you know, maybe blur it just a little bit. A skosh. A skosh. Just a skosh. Yeah, there, there we go. That looks like a reflection to me. Oh, yeah. It is upside down. It is all around. It looks like it says Lexi. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. You, here we have our I little know. reflection. Are you ready for this, Brent? I think I am. By any chance, have we done a tutorial on this particular We have effect? done a tutorial on this particular effect. Yeah. It is called motion tracking. Woo! And we'll leave a little card up in the little top card, of the video. We'll probably throw something on the end plate too in case you want to finish watching this one before yeah. we go to that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you the, uh, the link to the video. And uh, we're going to do that real quick. Um, but if you want to learn more about how to do motion tracking, check out that video. Check out our full tutorial here. You can get all the ins and outs of that. So right now we'll just slap it on yeah, here we'll so you can see on. what it looks like when we motion track. Yes. Now it is motion tracked. So the text is going to follow the camera. I'm so stoked to see this. And let's check out what it looks like. I know. That makes it look a lot better because it's subtle, but uh, as you can see. As you saw earlier, it was kind of just moving with the camera. It's kind of like drifting to the left of the, the screen, whereas now it's just staying right put, right with the car. It's not moving at all. It's following the car. So if you want to learn how to do that effect, watch this other tutorial. Watch our other tutorial on motion tracking. We'll do some cards, some end screen links. Check it out. Ish out. I think it, that is uh, the end of the tutorial. I think this was a successful tutorial. Brought my hopes back up for yes, us, friends. I'm, I'm feeling better now. You know. We, we we had a little bit of a low moment. We, it was you know bit. we had a rock bottom moment yeah. in the last thing we tried to shoot. But now we're climbing our way. We're clawing our way back out. We're back trying to get back in your good graces by providing a quality tutorial. And that was a quality tutorial. I think so. It's now, gonna need some cutting, but and we cross branded some stuff. Cross branded, so you can learn multiple things. You can we show you how our to do other this, quality and we can show you how to apply it using a motion tracker. Yes, and in one of our previous tutorials. So. Yeah, so check out that tutorial. So you're learning so much today. You're oh, learning so my much, Atlanta. Brent so. and I are just the best teachers. <laughs> clearly, right. clearly based on our view count. Well, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. This was a good one. Make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. We release Tesla Time news on Mon on Tuesdays, in depth on Mondays, and learnings on Fridays. Yep. And lots of other fun videos in between. Yep. We do movie show every other Wednesday. We do um, some gear reviews. We do some podcasts. We do some podcasts, off the grid podcasts once a month, talking all things sustainable and Tesla and electric cars. Yeah. Real fun time. And then there's usually a bunch of shenanigans videos that come out after that of us goofing around in the driveway yeah. playing with some cool toys and stuff all fun stuff all so fun it's all fun stuff that's like that fun we're about learning and fun here and now you know so hopefully you get your fix of both of those in these videos yes thanks for watching this episode i'm bobby Ape. i am brent and you're watching learning with bobby and brent all right, here we All go. Right. And um, cool. Bobby and Brent try and make up for the horrible hour We're that we just had. We're trying to bring the energy level back because we just wasted so much time. Yeah, that was a long. That was a lot of waste of time. We yeah. did like three tutorials in one there. Yeah, we Oof. basically just spent a half an hour trying to do a tutorial that we weren't really fully prepared for because yeah. we thought it'll be so easy. We'll just quickly do that, but we didn't have our example plan. And plans. then we, we just kept trying new things. And and it's like, maybe if we do this, it'll, this tutorial will be <laughs> enjoyable to watch. And it was just, it was a mess. We couldn't solve it. I'm glad we decided to give up. This is a, this is basically like a, like a warning. This is yes. just like a, <laughs> a learning tale here of like, be prepared before you yeah. go into something. Be prepared. Don't do your start homework. recording a video before you know how to do it. Do your homework. Know what you're doing before <laughs> you go into it. Too squeaky. squeaky chair. Too squeaky for me today. What the f***? Excuse my language, people. Part of this French. The bottom nodes are a little bit more sensitive. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you use the top nodes yeah. here. Don't hurt their feelings by clicking on them too much, you know? <laughs> They're way too sensitive. They're way too sensitive. They start freaking out and you're like, it's come very on. Weird. Yeah. Come on, bottom nodes. Yeah, I don't, like, I really don't like it. Why it's, do you got to play me like that? It's too sensitive. I don't like playing games.